other internet sites that aren't developed specifically for education can also be very useful, especially when helping to motivate students to listen outside the classroom. Internet sites such as YouTube provide lots of popular culture presented in audio and often video format as well. There is a wealth of material that's there to motivate. Hi, this is Sokun. In this segment, I'll be showing you an example activity that you can share with your students for listening practice. It's a great activity using YouTube that'll motivate students to listen to English material outside of class time. Additionally, it'll get students to listen to the material repeatedly, which is something that we want to achieve in a listening class. What I'll be showing you in this video is basically the process that students can go through to do this activity. What you can do is you can demonstrate the process first in the classroom as an example, then students can go home and try it out for themselves using songs that they already listen to and like. You might even consider making it mandatory homework so that students will at least try it out. Moving on to the activity, you'd want to think beforehand about what song you want to use to demonstrate this activity. For this video, I decided to choose a song from the new Disney movie Moana. Disney songs are a good choice because the singing is usually clearer and easier to follow. There are also so many of them and even more importantly, the lyrics are cleaner and more appropriate than most popular top 100 songs. The first step after that is to open up an internet browser and go to YouTube. In the search bar here, search the artist and name of the song. In this case, I'm searching for Alicia Kara's How Far I'll Go, one of the songs in Moana. I chose to use this video, the official video for the song. This is also a good idea because YouTube has a lot of fan-made music videos, which might not always be appropriate. Now let's talk about finding the lyrics to the song. I opened a new tab here and went to Google to search for the lyrics to this song. In the search bar, I typed in the artist, the word lyrics, and the title of the song. Typically with lyric searches, Google will pull up an entry from its lyric database on Google Play Music. You can click on this, to bring up the full lyrics. At this point, one thing you can do is to pull out this tab here to make it its own window. Then, minimize the window by dragging the side here until just the lyrics are visible. Then you can do the same thing on the other side for this window so that both windows are visible. This way, you can follow along with lyrics as you listen to the song or even watch the video. You can even pause and play the song at any point without losing the window with the lyrics. Alternatively, you can find a YouTube video with the lyrics included in the video. To do that, we'll go back to the YouTube search bar and this time we'll search the artist, the word lyrics, and the title of the song. This pulls up lyric videos. Something to keep in mind with this method is that most of these lyric videos are fan-made, so there's yet again the risk of pulling up a video that's inappropriate. The advantage though is that it's much easier to follow along with the lyrics this way. Once students are comfortable with the lyrics and they want to practice speaking or pronouncing those words, they can practice with the same song. How you'll have them do that is to once again go back back to the search bar and this time search the artist, the word karaoke, and the title of the song. This pulls up karaoke videos, which are videos that have the vocal track removed. The advantage of karaoke videos over regular songs with just the singing removed is that the video shows the lyrics on screen and highlights whichever part is to be sung. If your students have access to smartphones running on iOS or Android systems, an even easier way to access lyrics is by using the free app SoundHound. This app I identify songs and pulls up the lyrics for you. All you have to do is bring up the app, tap on the icon, hold it up to the speaker playing the song you want the lyrics to, and the app will bring up information about the song. Similarly, you can bring up the full lyrics and follow along with the song. The biggest advantage with an app like SoundHound is that you don't necessarily need to know the name of the song or the artist of the song in order to pull up the lyrics. The demonstration that I just showed you requires that you know the name of the song as well as the artist of the song. Music is a great way for English language learners to access English material for listening practice outside of class. Most of your students might already listen to English songs, be it from an international artist or from a local artist who records English language music. By showing this activity to students, they can listen to the same input multiple times without feeling bored of the activity because it's natural to listen to the same song over and over again, especially if it's a song that you really like. Therefore, students who can access YouTube or even SoundHound outside of the classroom can practice their listening skills autonomously and in an enjoyable, natural, and authentic manner.